Hello everyone, this is Dan Plus 124 and guys today we're, we're going to bring Ephesians 3 from the New York Times and I'll see you next time if you guys don't know what to read along, you guys can get on babblesdith.com or you guys can get on Bob. I don't care how you guys end up, let's go, let's go get started. Ephesians 3 in the United States and I'll you version. God's marvelous plan for the Gentiles. For this reason I, Paul the prisoner of Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles, surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to me for you, that is, Mystery made known to me by revelation, as I've already written briefly. In reading this, then you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to people in other generations. As it has now been revealed by the Spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets. This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs, together with Israel, members together of one body and shares together in the promise in Christ Jesus. I became a servant of this gospel by the, the gift of God's grace given me through the working of his power. Although I am less than the least of all the Lord's people, the, this grace has given me this grace has given me to preach to the Gentiles to boundless riches of Christ, and to make plain to everyone the, the administration of this mystery which for ages past was kept hidden in God who created all things. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms, according to the eternal purpose that he accomplished in Jesus, Christ Jesus, our Lord, in him and through faith in him, in him and through faith in him, we may approach God of freedom and confidence. I ask you therefore not to be discouraged because of my sufferings for you, which are your glory. A prayer for the Ephesians. For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives of its name, derives its name. I pray that out of his out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you of power, the raised spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power, together of all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. That to him who is able to do immeasurable immeasurably more than all we ask. Or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Okay guys, okay, guys we hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.